Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to share with you this super cool, such a wholesome Christmas vibe energy article about Linux 6.90 adding 30% performance for old AMD GPUs radio. And you can tell that this GPU is so old that the name of it, like R7950, the name is already looped and the looped name is already old. You know, like it's crazy how old it is. And in these days when, you know, like big corporation dropping support for barely, you know, discontinued product, like they just was selling them like last year pretty much and they discontinue like full support and we're getting 30% boost to performance for such an old GPU, which is like, I don't know, it's, it feels so good. And you can, you know, see some graphs here with some names that you probably have never heard of. I haven't heard of some of them, but I know Warsaw, this is like a first person shooter or Y Quake. I think this is open uh, version of Quake as well. Uh, but yes, yeah, so like, you know, some other tests and some games actually not only become faster, but become playable because they added like support uh, for Vulkan. It's such a cool, positive story. I don't know. It just feels so wholesome, so Christmas-like. You know, like being able to play Batman Arkham Knight. It's like legendary, legendary title, yet an ATP low, but it makes playable on a device that otherwise would be uh, e-waste. I, I, no, isn't it cool, guys? I don't know. It feels so good when we have so many bad news like ramp prices this you know you, you can nobody can afford to play games anymore pc gaming is dying you know like such a you know bad news everywhere and we have such so positive and look at the performance of 7950 comparing to for example where is that 360 3060 3060 12 gigabytes one of the most popular gpu on the planet almost four times faster without even counting uh, ray tracing or upscaling because you cannot do DLSS, obviously. So, you know, it's like probably in real life many times faster, but still such a cool story. And the whole website, I can tell you guys, feels the Foronix is uh, like about Linux. It's such a good energy at the moment because every moment, like every day I see article like, this becoming faster, Linux becoming faster, this laptop becoming faster on under Linux, this GPU becoming faster, this CPU, like every day they coming up with some new benchmarks, new, you know, like information that Linux becoming faster. And for me, guys, I don't know, it feels like this was the year of Linux. Like people may be going to say, oh, it's not yet. It's like it barely touches. But guys, I think in history, the next year, Maybe more people will talk about this, but I think this year was started. And guys, I was just testing Steam OS 3.9. I've got installed on my PC, uh, the, like with desktop. It's, it's for Steam Deck, but the latest update added support for Steam machines. You've got new pictures and actually feels better on a desktop PC as well. And guys, I never had such a good result in this benchmark in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. On Kashi OS, I've got 340 on Bazite as well 340 on Windows I I have like 300 like it's becoming faster and faster you know like on Windows you expect yeah it's a little bit heavier and heavier and maybe you're losing performance especially in older game that nobody is playing anymore but I'm keep having better and better score in these games or this surprised me uh, actually let me make it bigger so this is dead space i like this spot it's a very specific spot when i just turn on i'm not moving i'm just checking fps and i've never seen such a high fps in this game i had to take a screenshot because i'm getting 384 fps i know it's ridiculously high it's 1080p and i've got decent pc but the point is no matter how ridiculous the number is it's becoming more ridiculously positive like more ridiculously high. I've never seen such a high number. Like, I don't know, like every upgrade and I'm gaining performance. Guys, I just wanted to share some good news. I like this news, you know, all the GPUs becoming 30% faster or some games actually becoming playable, which is infinitely better, you know, because from nothing to actually playable experience. It's, 
I don't know, so cool. Uh, and I wanted to share with you. And also, guys, uh, Merry Christmas and see you in the next one. I probably will be testing some SteamOS uh, benchmarks as well. Some results actually surprised me. So, yeah, uh, see you in the next one.